Welcome to my channel Gopisya the zone of learning In this video you will learn about teeth digestion and the role of microbes Teeth teeth are an important part of our body and we should take proper care of them Teeth are present inside our mouth and they help in biting and chewing the food Sets of teeth Human beings have two sets of teeth temporary and permanent set by the time a child is 2 and 1/2 years old the first set of 20 teeth appears this set of teeth in a child is called temporary teeth they are also called milk teeth when the child is about 6 years old milk teeth start falling out one by one slowly new ones which are bigger in size take their place this set of new teeth is called permanent set there are usually 32 teeth in a permanent set types of teeth teeth are mainly needed to bite and chew the food according to their function teeth are of four types incisors canines premolars molars incisors there are eight incisors in all four in each jaw they are used for cutting and biting food canines there are four canines in all two in each jaw we have one canine on both sides of the incisors canines are sharp and are used for tearing food in flesh eating animals canines are bigger and sharper so that tearing flesh is easier premolars there are eight premolars in all four in each jaw these are broad teeth next to the canines premolars help to crush food and chew it molars there are 12 molars in all they are bigger and flatter than the premolars with a broad upper surface to chew and grind the food well out of the 12 molars eight grow first two on each side of the premolars four more molars grow later plant eating animals have well developed premolars and molars because they need to chew and grind their food a lot parts of a tooth a tooth has a crown and a root the crown is the part we see whereas the root is the part inside the gums gums hold the teeth in their places the white part on the outside of a tooth is called the enamel it is the hardest substance in the human body below the enamel lies the hard dentine inside the dentine lies the pulp it is very soft and full of nerves and blood vessels the pulp forms the central part of the tooth care of teeth proper care of teeth is very important when we eat tiny bits of food get stuck in spaces between our teeth we need to clean them out otherwise germs can grow there and form a sticky yellow layer called plaque proper brushing with a toothbrush toothpaste and water can prevent plaque formation ways to protect your teeth brush your teeth at least twice a day once in the morning and once before going to bed rinse your mouth well after meals eat food that is healthy for teeth and gums example milk eggs curd and green vegetables avoid eating too many sweets sugar and soft drinks calcium is very important for strong teeth milk and milk products such as curd and cheese are rich sources of calcium eating fruits and salads helps in keeping your teeth healthy the digestive system the food that we eat is broken down into simpler forms these simpler forms of food give energy that can be used by our body 
the process by which food is broken down into a simpler form so that it can be easily taken in or absorbed by the body is called digestion there are various organs that work together and help in digestion these organs together form the digestive system process of digestion this picture explains the process of digestion mouth the process of digestion starts in the mouth here food is broken down by biting and chewing this chewed food mixes with a liquid called saliva which helps in digestion food pipe food passes from the mouth through this thin long tube called the food pipe and reaches the stomach stomach it is a sac like organ where food is broken down further small intestine food from the stomach passes into the small intestine here all the useful nutrients are absorbed by the blood and taken to all parts of the body liver it produces bile juice that play an important role in the digestion of food large intestine it holds the food that cannot be digested absorbs water from it and forms waste called feces anus feces are removed from the body through the anus healthy eating habits healthy eating habits are also important for good health some healthy eating habits are chew the food well and do not swallow it whole eat fruits and vegetables every day this will provide you body with minerals and vitamins as well as rugs always wash your hands before and after meals rinse your mouth well after meals always try to eat a balanced diet always eat clean fresh and well cooked food microbes microbes are very small living things that cannot be seen with the naked eye they can be seen only with the help of an instrument called a microscope microbes are of four main types virus bacteria fungi and protozoa microbes can be useful or harmful to human beings certain uses of microbes some microbes are used in making bread and bun some microbes change milk into curd some microbes help in the digestion of food some are in the process of rotting and dead plants and animals harmful microbes which causes diseases are called germs some of the diseases caused by microbes are common cold influenza polio typhoid tuberculosis cholera dysentery malaria and ringworm This is all about digestion and the role of microbes. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching. We'll meet again in next video.